We the O. G. Fair. Lee. Which side? Take a side. You decide. Team K. Team C. Welcome to the OG family. Yeah. Welcome to the OG family. Just smash that like button. What's up, OG family? It's your girl, Kristen. It's Big Corey. Y'all know how he is in the morning. Annoying. And Troy. And we the O. G. Fam. Hey. If you're new to the channel, go, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, hey, mm. welcome back. Okay? Mm. My mom is getting her, um, what is it called? Her baby child. Uh, she knows my whole intro. It was so smooth. Give me some, girl. Yes, today we're, we're pregnant. pregnant. We're pregnant. Yes, we are pregnant. <sighs> and today is our first ultrasound. So, baby Corey is going to school, and then um, us and Troy will be going to our ultrasound appointment. No, Bubby's going. Bubby's going to baby service house. I'm just kidding, girl. I'm a little bit nervous. I I don't so the pregnancy app that I have says that I should be like five weeks and one day. Five weeks and one day. Was that you? So do April according to the pregnancy app from my last period, do April twenty third. I don't know why I have this feeling that we're gonna go and we're gonna be so much more pregnant than we thought that we were. I don't know. I don't know. Either we're gonna be super far, like I don't, I don't, I don't know why I have this. Yes, baby. Is the doctor place um far? No. But I'm nervous. I've been spotting for the last two days. I'm just hoping that it's just implantation bleeding. It's just pink. But we'll be back once we're at the doctor's office, and hopefully he's in a better mood. So yes, I am. He's gonna record it. We're gonna remember. You know we suck at vlogs. Troy, say say mommy's gonna remember. Mommy's gonna remember. Say remember. Yeah. Good job. I'm gonna remember. No, you're not. I am. We we do suck at vlogging, but we're trying to get better. Okay? Mommy. Don't forget. I'm nervous. Okay, so we are in the doctor's office and they just took my blood pressure. They said my blood pressure is a little bit high. We're next to going to ultrasound. She said we might not see anything because of how early I am. She says that's completely normal. Um, she said for sure we'll see like the gestational sac. Um, but we might not see baby until about seven weeks. That's when you can see the baby. So, but she did also say like with my period, whatever, I should be about five weeks today. So my heart, this is my third baby. So you would think that I'm like, you know, like calm about it. I don't know why I'm so nervous this time. I'm, I think I'm really scared it's gonna be too much. <laughs> I'm being honest. They're just, y'all just fighting. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, so my blood pressure is a little high, but that's it. So they said we can record while we're in there, so. <coughs> We'll be back when we're in the ultrasound room. Okay. All right. Then in uh, uh, your pregnancy test is pretty faint, um, okay. which uh, can 
you, which usually just means you know uh, early on, like four or five weeks. Okay. So they want to warn you about that to kind of set expectations. You know, for really just four or five weeks, uh, might see the sac today on ultrasound, but but not see the baby yet. Okay. Uh, and also, for actually, for more than if we're less than uh, less than five, you know, we possibly won't see anything yet. Okay. Um, but it's always a good idea to take a look. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if there's any, ever anything wrong with taking a look to see what we can see, just don't freak out if we don't see anything. Could just be too early yet. Okay. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, if we're out past seven weeks, then we would see a baby with a heartbeat. Okay. All right. And if, if we don't see the baby yet, generally, I just I just prefer to take a look in two weeks on ultrasound, giving it time to develop. There are some doctors, though, they kind of uh, prefer to draw blood rather than re-ultrasound. They'll, for example, draw your blood today, draw it three days down the road, draw it again three days after that, and try to graph if the levels are going up or down. Uh, I don't have a problem doing that if, if we're in that situation, it's something you want to do. But generally, I'm a bigger fan of just checking on ultrasound again because I hate needles myself. I like the ultrasound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea, All right. All right. Well, any questions before we jump to it? We'll get a pap smear out of the way and then the, uh, then the other. Uh, when you guys do the pap smear, do you have to touch my cervix? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, give me a fair warning. I have a super touchy cervix with a bleed on you and it's like tilted back and down. Just yeah. heads up. Uh, I'll be very gentle about that. I probably will kick up a little bleeding then, yeah. and then not to worry. Okay. Okay. All right. And you're okay with the little guy right there? Yeah. You want to have him sit there? Yeah. Put him over here. <laughs> half circle on the top, or black half circle on top of the screen. That's going to uh, correlate with the t tip of the probe. If you want to kind of uh, okay. imagine what the pelvic organs are. Relax the best you can. You're going to feel a slimy throat. And you'll see everything right on the screen in front of you. Right, try to relax. Let me probe coming at you. And you see the All right. So this is the uterus here. Uh, this pear-shaped organ. As you can see, yours tilts forward a little bit, like most do. And then this is the endometrium here, where we would see. Yep, so looking at that endometrium in all directions, we do not see a sack yet. Um, so, uh, you know, again, not to worry. Mm -hmm. Probably just means we're a little earlier than we think, you know, probably about four weeks instead of five. Uh, so there's nothing I would do uh, differently. Okay. Uh, I, I would not recommend getting the blood run, though I, I will tell you, a lot of OBGYNs, especially ones that can't do ultrasound very well, uh, they will get a bunch of blood draws and try to graph if the levels are going up. Okay. Uh, I don't recommend that. I just think we check again in two weeks. Okay. All right. So what's uh, so looks like fairly large fibroid. Do we know about this? No. All right. Yeah. So on the right side of the uterus, we got a pretty big fibroid right here. What does that mean? Oh, fibroids are non-cancerous muscle tumors of the uterus. Um, it's in the isthmic portion uh, on the right side, uh, which take up space uh, and it can cause pain. Uh, they usually don't affect pregnancy, although rarely uh, they, they can uh, make it more difficult to get pregnant if they're crushing the endometrial canal uh, or uh, block a baby from getting out and thus causing a need for a C-section. Okay. Um, and this one, so that's about three by three centimeters, so certainly not huge. Um, you can see this is it right there. And uh, if this is the midline of your uterus right here, as we go to the right, that's where this fibroid is. Okay. Um, have to see exactly, now the, the anatomy of the uterus changes a lot during pregnancy, mm -hmm. so I have to see exactly how this plays into the pregnancy. Looking right here, you'd see if we see a sac next time here, we normally do, that would seem like it was kind of obstructed by the fibroid, making it more difficult to deliver that baby vaginally, but that's not always the case. Sometimes, you know, as the pregnancy goes forward, a fibroid that's here or even lower ends up on the same level or higher than the baby when the uterus grows, in which case you don't need uh, C section in those cases. All right. All right, and then can't tell back behind the uterus there if that's another fibroid or if that's right ovary. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I think that is going to be right ovary there.
All right, so I don't know what all he caught on camera, but we're too early to see anything, which they told us before we even got into the ultrasound room that at five weeks, you might not see anything at all. So to, they prepared us for that. Um, I think we're gonna get pregnancy tests and we'll take one every week just to, cause we go back in two weeks. Um, but we'll take one every week just to make sure that it's still showing positive. He said if we get like a negative test, then you know what that means. But for now he just thinks that we're early. I think that we're early. I think he, the doctor thinks we're like maybe four weeks. I'm thinking two weeks. We know, we know the night that we think it is. I think we're like two weeks. So yeah, he said that the test that I took was very faint. Like the, there, the test that they give us was very faint. So we'll see. Fingers crossed.